Art is like dreaming about something super awesome, like dreaming about this really cool toy or a really beautiful object, right? And when you wake up, you got it. You brought it out of the dream world into reality. When we go to make our plate, we don't put plenty, plenty, plenty. We only put just what we need to because we can always go back and get some more food. Yeah? The same thing with me. Solomon, for the last two weeks, has been spending time with the K-1 gang, um, the middle school group, and academy students. He would take them on what he calls a walk story, and he'd walk around and talk about what he was looking at, um, things he was interested in painting, and why he was making choices. Earlier this week, he was doing three paintings at the same time, bouncing between each of them, and he had chosen uh, a tree that's up there, and he was painting it how he would imagine it in the morning light how he would imagine it in the evening and how he was actually looking at it in that moment, which was middle afternoon. You don't really have to be a great drawer to be a great artist. Yeah. It is not how to draw, it's what are you drawing. Mo'olelo is our now, you know, is our stories, right? And our mo'ku auho is a genealogy, you know? So I think about it, you know, really, we came from stories, we are a story, and then one day all we're gonna be is a story, you know? So who's telling the story? what Solomon had to offer us. It was his freedom and ability to model curiosity, model imagination space, model enthusiasm for students. It's a chance for them to kind of see somebody who is totally inspiring in all of those areas and maybe remind them that it's okay to use your imagination, it's okay to be excited about something, and it's okay to follow your passions. You spend one hour uh, listening to somebody else's music, you spend one hour playing your own music, or spend one hour writing poetry, or spend one hour designing a video game, right? If you spend three hours playing video games, spend three hours designing your own video game, three hours designing, writing a play, or whatever. So it doesn't have to be contiguous in, in as much as what you do, but it does have to be contiguous in time. <laughs> how much time do we spend consuming other people's stories, and how much time do we spend working on our own? For myself, it's been incredibly inspiring, and I know for the other teachers as well, Getting to see him model his own way of engaging with students is a way that we learn.